Hey folks, welcome into the post game show after another high V Warrior win, 6 0 the final. I'm Zach Ebrahim here with the coach, John Husak, and coach, 6 0 the final, a, a good all around performance. Uh, let's start with Kiara Lavaca, a hat trick in the first half. What's her progression been like from the first game you coached her to now, where she just seems like she's going to get multiple goals every time out if she can have it that way? Yeah, I mean, we, we spoke last game, right, about her and what we were doing with her in training and just trying to find different shots and different looks. And, um, you know, she, they're fortunate, I guess, in the sense that she didn't have more. I mean, the, yeah. the first first chance on goal of the game, she hits the post. Mm -hmm. um, so she's there. She's in the right scoring position. She's being effective in what she does. And today she just she had an extra bit of work rate in her game where she was just causing turnovers and, and scoring chances just from pressing. Yeah. So um, she's adding different dimensions to her game, and that allows her to get more chances on goal and inevitably more goals. One of our six seniors put in uh, two goals today in, in Micah and Shauna, but just overall pregame ceremony with it being sophomore day, obviously a lot of season left, right? And you're going to want to finish this one with a bang. But what's it been like to coach this sophomore class and uh, watch their progression from their first game you coached them to now? Yeah, that's that's kind of our core, right? And if you look at them, they, they we, we go to them quite a bit in terms of game in, game out. Um, you know, Micah is, you know, she's she struggled a bit last year going through the year just finding the back of the goal. And, you know, she had scoring chances after scoring chances. But this year she's finally settled down and and added a little bit of composure to her game. And that gets her in the back of the net a for lot sure. more. For yeah. sure. And then, and then you look at the other handful of them and Maria, who's anchored us in, in goal. and. Alex, who anchors us in the midfield, I mean, there's there's not a game where you don't say Alex's name over and over and over. Absolutely. So I can yeah. I can attest to that. Russ and I can for sure. Let's preview uh, our next home game. We'll be back here in a ton one. I mean, we're going to see Iowa Western for the second time in a week. And how would you preview that matchup? And what are some things we can do differently next time around to come away with the win here at home? Yeah, I think I think Iowa Western had a really good game plan against us. They forced us to do a lot of things that we didn't want to do or we ever trained to do so uh we go back to the drawing board we watch the film we kind of look at what they're trying to do to us and and we just need to to brush up fine tune those moments that we are playing maybe out of system um and be able to play through those moments so that we can get out of trouble or we can make better decisions or better choices in our passes and things like that um we're not kind of a direct team in terms of over and over repetitive balls in behind and that's what they force us to do um, so we're gonna we're gonna go and pick up on those little nuances of, of their game and, and adjust and, and be ready to go on Wednesday. Can't wait to see it. Congrats on the win, coach. Thank you, I appreciate it. So their high V Warrior win, six 0 the final. You've been watching the post game show on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS.